call it prostitution. Sex work. Prostitution. Prostitute, sex worker. It doesn't really make a difference. At the end of the day, we know what I'm doing. The reason people are calling it sex work is trying to legitimize what is inherently a harmful and exploitative trade. We emphasize the fact that it's for the sex workers, it's work. The current law is the Sexual Offences Act of 1957. It outlaws prostitution, the buying and the selling of sex. Uh, and I think that actually gets lost in the debate because everyone else is focusing on the word sex, whereas the sex workers themselves focus on the word work. South Africa is becoming a tra transit country for sex traffickers. The sex work debate gets conflated with trafficking, unfortunately. I mean, most of the strip clubs and the escort agencies, which are fronts for prostitution, uh, have mostly foreign women working there. To imply that sex work is an inherently criminal activity is, is a false assumption. The links between organized crime and prostitution have never been broken. so young and uh, I was just 19. I was so naive and I really thought that escorts went on dinner dates. For me it was about realizing that I had something fascinating to give. I told my mum and she was so excited and she said she lent me her dress and her shoes. Can you imagine? And yeah, so I went and um, the guy said have you got condoms? And then I thought why not get money from all of this attention. I just, I just cried. So for me it's definitely about the money. I, I thought I was going to be an English teacher and well no one really wants this future for themselves and uh, you know, no one gets here by choice. I mean girls have different reasons for getting into this industry. The main reason women get into prostitution is because of the breakdown of the family and uh, sexual abuse, poverty, adverse circumstances, but never as a career choice. He beat me up so badly that I just ran away and I had nothing, just the clothes on my back. So if somebody thinks, hey, if I have two clients, I can, if I sleep with two clients, I can make more sleeping with two clients than I could make in a whole month doing domestic work. It wasn't a career choice. They didn't grow up, you know, dreaming about being a prostitute on the street one day. It's not where they want to be. It's never safe for women on the streets, for any woman, whether they're prostitutes or not. If you look at the kind of uh, statistics on abuse of women and rape, and these are not prostitutes, it's never ever safe in any circumstance for the woman to be on the street. Yeah. treated so badly and um, you get ridiculed and yeah, all your dignity is stripped away. Never. I never feel like an object. A woman standing on the side of the street, half naked, selling a body, represents an entire gender. And she represents that gender and says, we are sex objects. I'm just a girl doing her job. Almost like a public service, if you will. And she's actually comforting lonely people, or people with disability, for example. Somebody who's disabled and who will never have sex. You end up using drugs anyway, because emotionally and psychologically, it's, it's a very, it's such a difficult situation. You, you can't do it straight. No, I don't do drugs. Put yourself in that situation. You need something. They get lured into prostitution. They, they get hooked onto drugs. The drugs help them to do what they do to numb them. They are not really drug addicts. I was never happy. I was always looking for a way to get out. And, uh, <sighs> do you know the drugs? They just, they just keep bringing you back. Look, before we answer the next question, I, I really need to smoke. So can we take this outside, please? I had 
didn't want to be on the streets for my whole pregnancy. I, I just didn't want to do that again. I don't like to talk about HIV. And I don't think it's anyone's right to decide when I should get tested and how often. Women um, typically have 10, 20 partners a day. Um, most of them are paid more money or offered more money not to use a condom. Uh, the man doesn't want to use the condom. If you want to address HIV, you need to decriminalize sex work. And if you want to ensure that the human rights of sex workers, you need to decriminalize. Definitely. Anything that's going to help me. Every nation in the world that has gone this route of legalizing or decriminalizing, uh, decriminalizing prostitution has failed dismally. People make all kinds of claims and I mean it'd be nice if people substantiated these claims. Treating me like a criminal. Come on. An economy based on the sex trade, on sex tourism. Is that really something we want for this country? It's disgusting. One of the key focuses of decriminalizing sex work is to actually empower the sex worker. It doesn't work. It cannot work because of the nature of prostitution. Can you imagine that that would be a career choice for your daughter, that she could choose to become a prostitute? It's just a crime against women. And she said, is it immoral that I'm actually trying to put food on the table for my kids and I'm putting my kids through school? Is, is that immoral? Prostitution is wrong. A woman is not meant to be sold. I don't need people feeling sorry for me. I don't need people trying to help me change my life. People tend to want to look at the situation in black and white. It's a complicated field. They're still going to have to do all the disgusting, same things they've ever done. Legal or not, it doesn't change their lives. People should have more sympathy, more empathy towards people out there. You know, they should actually see that that could be me, or that could be my daughter, or that could be, you know, it could be any 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 woman.